On day 101, I spawned into Oddworld as Cyan. Wow, this place is epic. Out of nowhere, Yellow appeared and began attacking me. Your subscription to life has expired, Cyan. I had to run away. There was no way I could match up with Yellow's flying abilities. Up ahead, there was a sign that said Crystal Caverns. That's my ticket out. I ran in and found a mine cart. Yellow was right behind me, so it was either die or get on. I chose to ride. The minecart zoomed through the tunnels. As I rode, some rainbow friends jumped out and tried to grab at me. Ah, you're mine. Not today! I'll find you eventually, you know. <laughs> Why don't you come and play, Cyan? Finally, I reached the end of the ride. The minecart tracks ended, and I was ejected from the minecart and sent flying into a sewage room. Ooh, yuck! Come out, come out, Cyan! I looked around desperately for some food or weapons, but there was nothing. Then, Yellow fell into the room from the same place I had. He was way too eager to find me. <laughs> gotcha! Red's been looking for you. You know, why did you run away for so long in the first place? Oh no, not Red! But you're back now. Don't be shy. Welcome home, Cyan! This guy was nuts! I zoomed around them and ran away as fast as I could. I was running through the hallways on day 102 with Yellow right on my tail. I was glad he wasn't as fast as Orange or I would have been a goner already. Come on, there's gotta be somewhere I can lose him! I eventually made it to a spot where only I could fit. Yellow tried to follow but his big wings kept him from doing so. You better run, Cyan! I'm gonna get you if it's the last thing I do! He left angrily, and I was all alone again. Man, that guy is scary. What do they even want with me anyway? And why do you think I ran away? I've been here the whole time! I put aside my questions for later and kept following the path behind me. As I made my way to a bigger area, I could hear Green talking to himself. I hear you, Cyan. I know you're around here somewhere. Oh no, I better not make too much noise or Green is gonna catch me. Green started to approach. I stayed quiet and managed to sneak right past him since he was blind. Just as I was about to get away, Green stopped and turned around fast. Hey! I froze completely and didn't move a muscle. I was holding my breath and hoping he wouldn't notice me. Eventually, he turned back around again. Oh, must have been the wind. Green went away, and I was able to quickly make my way out of the room. I need to get out of this place! It's definitely not as fun as you'd think it is! On day three, I found myself trapped in Blue's castle. I looked for an exit, but there was nothing but locked doors and his throne. This place seemed inescapable. Why are all the doors locked in here? Apparently, I made a bunch of noise while I was rummaging through his stuff, because Blue showed up! Hey, you're the new rainbow friend! Cyan, right? Why'd you run away so fast earlier? Oh, uh, first day jitters. Even though he was playing nice, I was getting bad vibes from him. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Red would like to have a word with you. Red? I'm not going, and you can't make me. I had to get away from this guy. I realized that as Cyan, I had a bite ability, so I lunged forward and tried to use it on Blue. It was hardly effective, since he was so much stronger than me. Oh, that tickles! And I hate being tickled! Blue swung at me hard. He was in insanely strong. Red is gonna love torturing you. Just as all hope seemed lost, an odd old man raced in and threw a potion onto Blue, incapacitating him. Ah, my eyes! Hurry, while he's distracted! I wasn't sure who this old man was, but it was better than staying here. I quickly followed him, leaving Blue behind. I followed the man to a safe area on day 104. I was thankful for the help, but still didn't trust him. Wait a minute, who are you? I'm the technician here. I'm trying to shut down this place for good. Red has gone mad and has been taking the odd world visitors and turning them into rainbow friends. Can you believe that? That's awful. I wondered if that was what happened to me, but I couldn't be sure with my memory gone. On top of that, all the friends have been acting strange lately. I think they've been brainwashed to keep them from being reasoned with. That doesn't sound good. It's not, but I have a plan. I want to defeat all the rainbow friends. Blue, green, orange, purple, and yellow. Only then can we stop red. How will doing that stop Red? Because you're special. Each time you defeat one of them, you will gain their power and take their appearance. How do you know that? I 
found some notes from Red mentioning you and that ability. If you don't believe me, then go find Purple and try it. But first, you'll need to collect some iron for tools to get to the Mist Maze. Mist Maze? What's that? The technician told me where I could find the maze and gave me a quick explanation of what I needed to do. You'll need to hide from Purple by getting on the bits of higher ground around the maze and make your way to the Mist Machine. Turn that off and then you'll be able to fight him without the unfair advantage that Mist gives him. Okay, I'll try my best, but how do I find you again? Don't worry, I'll find you if I have to. Take this, you must be starving. The technician tossed me some food and then left. On days 105 to 106, I left the safe area to go gather some iron. I forgot to ask the technician where the iron was, but I remembered Orange's minecart ride. I could break down the railing system to get iron. Luckily, there was some wood nearby from the tunnel supports to make a pickaxe. Then I mined the railings, smelted them down, and turned them into useful iron tools. At last, I had a sword, a pickaxe, an axe, and a bucket. There was some water nearby, and I decided to fill my bucket just in case. You never know when it could come in handy. There, all all set. Now I'm ready for the mist maze. I exited Orange's minecart ride and headed to Purple's maze. Wow, I knew it was going to be foggy, but this mist is dense. It was hard to see through all of the mist, but I started searching. The mist machine had to be somewhere around here. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. He was using the mist to his advantage. I had to run. He began to chase me through the maze. Go away. Ahead of me, there was a rock sticking out of the mist. I could hide from purple there. Luckily, I hopped on top of it. Hey, where'd you go? I stayed super quiet, and eventually Purple passed by without noticing me. As soon as he was out of sight, I stealthily jumped back down and took off into the opposite direction. After a few more twists and turns, I reached the center of the maze. Hey, there's the mist machine! Aha! I found you! It was Purple again. Fortunately, I was close enough to the mist machine that I was able to break it before he could get to me. Hey, the mist is clearing! We watched as the mist slowly started to fade away. Before I could celebrate too much. <laughs> you idiot! I can see you better now! Yellow swooped down and grabbed me, carrying me out of the maze and into the sky. On days 107 to 108, I was being carried away by Yellow. Man, things really aren't going according to plan! You really thought you could get away, huh? If I didn't escape soon, I was going to be taken back to his nest, where Red could find me. Let me go! I chomped down on his legs again and again. Hey, quit that! I bit him as hard as I could, and he yelped in pain and let me go. The problem with that, though, was now I was hurling towards the ground. It was a good thing I prepared myself for this situation. I was able to save myself by a water bucket clutch. For some reason, Yellow didn't attempt to pick me back up, and instead flew away. Whoa, where is this? I landed in a grassy area with a river. In front of me, there was a sign that said laser tag. As I was examining the sign, I heard squeaking. Green was walking around nearby. I know you're around here. I heard the water. Come out, come out. Man, this guy is everywhere. It was best to stay away. So I ran off in the direction of the laser tag arena. On days 109 to 110, I made it safely to the laser tag arena. Above me, the park intercoms crackled to life, and Red began to speak through them. Friends, there appears to be an infiltrator in the park, and Pepper allowed them to escape. Should you encounter him and do the same, there will be punishment. Any rainbow friend who fails to capture Cyan will be locked up indefinitely. All rainbow friends, if you see Cyan, bring him to me at once. Darn, everyone else has an unfair advantage. This isn't good. I might have to start hiding more. I needed a place to make my own base world. As I looked around the laser tag arena, an idea struck. Maybe if I could dig deep under Oddworld, I could make a spot where not even Red could find me. With my iron tools, I began excavating a huge underground area. Once I had a big enough spot scooped out, I decorated it with lots of different colors. Hopefully it would keep my sanity intact in this crazy place. I also made sure to hide the entrance so no one would stumble across it by accident. Nice, now I have a place to call my own. On days 111 to 113, I exited my base back to the laser tag arena. When I was rounding a corner though, I heard someone coming. What is it now? I peeked around and saw it was nothing but an adorable little looky. Oh, hey little guy, aren't you cute? There was no way this guy could do any harm. It was too cuddly looking. Aw, what are you doing all by yourself? Don't you know it's dangerous out here? As I said that, the looky squeaked again, and more lookies began appearing from every direction. 
Uh, what you doing, buddy? The first Lookie cried out, and the swarm charged and attacked me. Ah! Bad Lookies! Bad Lookies! I fought back with my iron sword, trying to keep the swarm back, but they kept coming at me. Come on, give me a break here! There were so many Lookies that I was being outnumbered and outpowered. It was time to run! On days 114 to 117, I continued to run away from the onslaught of Lookies. There's so many! There was little I could do against such large numbers. I kept having to fight some off over and over before I could try getting away. I used my bite attacks to try to fend them off. Eventually, after a lot of struggling, I made it to what looked like it could be the path out of this place. I had a big issue though. It was being guarded by the biggest Lookie I had ever seen. Where the heck did you come from? Squeak. The giant Lookie squeaked and jumped at me. I continued to fight it, not really doing any damage to it, but eventually I was able to make some distance and outrun the giant. I'll have to collect items to bake a cake. Then maybe I can use that to make it move from the path. I had to collect wheat, eggs, milk, and sugar. I knew just the place to get all of those. Oddworld had some kind of food court. I just had to look around. Surely enough, I was right. There was a whole eating area with lots of different food options. I rummaged through the area and I was able to collect all the parts to a cake. Time to get this looky what it wants. I returned back to the giant looky and quickly placed down the cake and it cleared the path. You can have your cake and eat it too. I need to obtain more abilities to stop red. On days 118 to 121, I continued into the path the giant looky was blocking. And to my surprise, I had arrived at an unfamiliar building. Hold on, what is this? I took a closer look and realized it was a secret entrance. I managed to open it and went inside to snoop around. What is this place? Inside, I found some lab equipment and a cage with purple. Cyan? You found me. Mind helping me out of here? I will, but only if you're on my side. I, I am, I promise. I spotted a lever and pulled it, releasing him. Thank you. I didn't want to kill you before. It was Red making me do it. He said if I didn't, he would break my legs. That sounds horrible. I'm glad I'm able to help out. Let me help you out. You may or may not know this, but all rainbow friends can transfer abilities to you. Watch this. Purple did some cool transfusion effect, and suddenly I turned into him, and I even had his smoke bomb power. This is very cool, but kind of freaky if I really think about it. Tell me about it. That's what I look like? Just then, Red barged into the laboratory. Two purples? I knew I couldn't trust you. Bronzo, get over here! I quickly used my new smoke bomb to create a huge mist and escape before Red could see me. Purple followed right after me, and together we made it back to the base. That was amazing what you did back there. No one has ever stood up to red like that. Well, it's time for a change. Let's get you comfortable here. Since I know Purple loved his maze, I decided to build him an even better one in the base. I started out by clearing out a large area, and then I began making the maze. Next to the maze, I made his bedroom, so he could have somewhere to sleep. And the whole thing was Purple themed. Wow. This place is even better than my original home. The sewers. Glad you like it, but anything would be better than that sewer. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. Sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go and help the other rainbow friends now. On days 122 to 125, I ran into the technician. He looked frightened. Get back, I'll end you if I have to. I was confused, but then I realized I was morphed into purple. So I turned back into my cyan form. Relax, it's just me, Bronzo. Huh, nifty power you got there. I'm surprised you found me again. How? I have my ways. Good job saving purple. I knew you had it in you. At least I knew your human self did. I was human? I don't have any memories of that. Maybe you'll get your memories back eventually. For now, see if you can get any more of the rainbow friends on your side. I'll try my best. I don't want Red to win, that's for sure. Good luck out there, we'll meet again. On days 126 to 129, I was looking for the rainbow friends to try to bring to my side. Unfortunately, I wasn't having any luck finding them. Where are the rest of the rainbow friends? I could have sworn they were around here somewhere. You got that one right, Cyan. It was Blue. He appeared right behind me. Blue, I'm so happy to see you. Why don't we forget what happened earlier when I bit you and be buddies? I don't know about that one. It tickled pretty bad. He lunged at me and tried to attack. 
Thinking quickly, I dodged around him and ran inside a room, shutting the door behind me. This isn't good. This wasn't a really good plan because Blue ran in too. Come here, Cyan. I'm just gonna give you a hug. Yeah, a deadly one. As Blue tried to grab me, I used purple smoke bomb on him. Ah, I can't see. Blue tried to smash where he thought I was and ended up breaking the wall beside me instead. While he was blinded, I darted through the hole he created. That guy's gonna be a problem. I need to find the technician again. But where could he be? In the distance, I saw a drop ride. That's a start. On days 130 to 133, I kept following where the drop ride could be. And sure enough, the technician was working on something. Hey, what is that? Oh, hey, this is what is gonna get us out of here. A powerful drill. The only thing I'm missing is some gas. I could find some more for ya. I was hoping you could. I'd do it myself, but I'm gathering some spare parts from this tower. No problem. But where could I get some? Oddworld needs gasoline to run. Look around the park. I'm sure you can find some lying around. I checked Blue's castle in Orange Caves. Got it. I'll be right back. I headed to Orange's tunnels once more, looking for some gas. To my surprise, there was some lying around. I was about to grab it when Orange appeared. You destroyed my cart ride! Oops, sorry, dude. Orange sped up towards me and began attacking. Luckily, he wasn't as strong as me. I used my size to quickly knock him out and run off with the gas canister. Sorry again. On days 134 to 137, I continued on towards Blue's castle. As I entered, nothing much seemed to change. Yeah, still pretty big and blue. I looked around the castle and eventually found the gas canister in his throne room. I grabbed it, but then I heard a noise in the distance. It was blue. Thinking quickly, I ran into the hallway and found a room to hide in. Uh, I hate Red. He makes me do all his dirty work and I don't get anything. It makes me so angry. I think when I see Cyan, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, I'll do that. As Blue finished talking to himself, he left the hallway. I should probably avoid him from now on. I left Blue's castle and went back to the drill. Here's your gas. Ha, perfect. Just in time too. I only now finish with the repairs. The technician put the finishing touches on the drill, then filled up the gas tank with the canisters I had brought. It's drill time. Stand back, Cyan. The drill roared to life, but it only took a moment for the drill to explode, blowing us both back. Everything went black for a split second, and when I came back to again, the technician was stuck on top of the drop ride. Oh, my head. What? What happened? The loudspeakers crackled to life, and Red began to speak through them. I've kidnapped your beloved technician and attached TNT to the chairs. Cyan, if you don't turn yourself in, I'll blow him up. What should I do? I can't stay here. It's too dangerous. Maybe I should lie. Sure thing, Red. I'm on my way right now. Just let me say goodbye to Purple before I go. Red seemed to agree, so I ran back to my base while I tried to figure out what to do. On days 138 to 141, I ran into the giant Lookie boss as I ran back to my base. Uh-oh, not you again. I knew this time I couldn't distract him by cake. Somehow though, I could see a great sadness in the giant Lookie boss's eyes. Aw, what happened? Your lucky minions went missing? I realized the explosion from earlier must have scared them. It was my fault. Stick around here. I'll go find them for you. I left the giant lucky boss behind and went to go look for all his lost minions. Hopefully they were too scared to attack me. The first two lookies I found were in the mines, cowering behind some rubble. There you are. The next group of three were in Purple's maze, chilling in the hedges. Don't you know your boss is looking for you? The last one was sitting regally on Blue's throne, in his castle. That's not yours. Don't you take that tone with me. Finally, I had all the minion lookies collected. You're saying you're on my side now? Then help me save the technician. Come back to the base with me, and we'll talk more there. I decided to make plans with the giant Lookie during days 142 to 145. Okay, so we're gonna have giant Lookie pretend to see me and get Red to come over. That's when the little Lookies trap him. Then I'll grab the remote. I take that as you understand. Let's roll. We set up right in the center of Oddworld and the giant Lucky began doing his thing, pretending to catch me. It was working and Red appeared eagerly to catch me. 
What's going on here? I was ready to pounce, but suddenly, before the little lookies could even come out, he pressed the remote, and a timer started. Do you really think I'm that stupid? I knew the lookies were not to be trusted. No! The technician! How unfortunate. <laughs> Yellow suddenly flew in and picked up red. As they flew away, I rushed to where the technician was. To my surprise, he was perfectly fine. What? But how? Looking at the contraption, I noticed a little yellow lookie. He'd been eating the redstone that led to the TNT. You're a hero, little guy. I then looked up to the technician. You need any help getting down? Don't worry about me. I'll find my way down. I'm just happy to not be in pieces right I now. I nodded and ran off before Red and Yellow could figure things out and catch me. From days 146 to 149, I figured since I got away from Blue and Orange, Red had most likely locked them up in the lab, just like Purple. Red should not be back by now. This is the best chance I got to rescue them. I snuck back into his lab and I was right. Red was still gone. I went to the cell areas and eventually I found Blue, but not Orange. Oh, Cyan! I'm so happy to see you again! Orange is locked up somewhere, too! Where might that be? Rainbow... Rainbow something... Oh, I remember Rainbow Racers! I decided I only had time to save one, and since Blue was right here, he was the lucky one! Let's get out of here before Red comes back! I took Blue back to the base and began working on his room. I made sure to add lots of blue decor so that he would fit right at home. Thanks so much! As a reward for my room, I'll give you my power! I suddenly grew super strong and transformed into blue! This is definitely going to help! I'm off to save orange! See ya! While I was traveling on days 150 to 153, I encountered another cyan. Was this the real one? I was so confused. I froze up. She didn't seem to notice me yet and continued to poke around. Cyan, is that you? I moved closer to try to get a better look, but this startled her and she attacked me! Stay away! Hey, stop biting me! Cyan continued to use her teeth. My only option was to fight her. It was a really tough battle. We were really evenly matched, but thanks to Purple and Blue's powers, I was coming out on top. I was on the verge of winning when we were interrupted by Red. Before he could catch me, I ran away. To my surprise, though, he didn't even chase me. Why would he do that? Oh, wait, he must think I'm blue. I decided to hide and watch from a spot he wouldn't see me. I'm so glad to have the real Cyan back. back? What does he mean by that? I'll have to lock you, the original Cyan, up and make adjustments since you were about to fail before I should have. I suppose now there really is no use for the newer Cyan. Perhaps it's time I got rid of him. Oh well, you're coming with Cyan me. Cyan was already weakened from our fight. Red picked her up and began to take her away. No, not again. I need to help her, and fast. Before I could even do anything, Cyan retaliated and bit Red hard. I hate you! Cease with the bite! While Red was distracted with his wound, she ran off, leaving the maze. I figured there was no use chasing her now. She seemed to be doing fine on her own. Besides, I needed to go save Orange. I finally made it to Rainbow Racers on days 154 to 157. I saw Orange locked away in a cage. I'm here to save you, Orange! Let's get out of here! Bronzo? Is that you? I'd rather rot in here than be on your side. Are you crazy? Come on, we don't have time for this. Red might be coming soon. I tell you what, beat me in a rainbow race and I'll join you. Fine, let's race then. We went over to the bumper cars and the timer started. The race began, and I struggled at first. Orange was booking it, not making a single mistake. Eventually, I started to get the hang of it, and I was catching up to him. I bumped into Orange, slowing him down, giving me the chance to pass him. I kept my lead and won the race. I did it! Let's go! Take that, Slowpoke. Hey, you cheated! Ah, whatever. You beat me fair and square. Let's get out of this place. Follow me. I began working on Orange's base. I cleared out another hallway in my base and emptied out all of the dirt and had an open canvas to work with. I made sure to add a bunch of orange details to the room. I added an orange bed, copper details, a bunch of different paintings, orange jack-o'-lanterns to make scarecrows, and a redstone-powered minecart running around a track because I knew he loved the mines. This new room really suits me. Oh, I love it so much. Thanks, Bronzo. But 
One question, how did you know orange was my favorite color? Are you serious? I mean, look at you. It's kind of obvious. Doesn't seem all that obvious to me. I think you just made a lucky guess. No, I, uh, forget about it. Anyways, I still need to find Cyan. It's gonna take me forever though. She could be anywhere. This is starting to feel a little hopeless. Oh, that's easy. Don't worry, Bronzo. I can help you with that. You can? Yeah, I'll give you my super speedy powers. Then you'll be able to run around and find them much faster. Great idea, Orange. Lay it on me. Alrighty, hold still. This should only hurt a little bit. Wait, hold on. It's gonna hurt? Nah, I'm just messing with you. Here you go. Orange then projected their powers onto me, turning me into Orange and giving me super speed. Haha, <laughs> this is awesome. I'm out of here. On days 158 to 161, I was zooming around as orange with his speedy ability. I was super fast. I bet this can help me find Cyan. I ran around everywhere, looking high and low for the other Cyan. I couldn't find them anywhere though. I was going so fast that I stopped realizing where I was going and ran into a giant monster. It was green. Orange, is that you? How's it going? Orange? Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> that's me, Orange. I am doing awesome, zooming around everywhere because that is what I do. Uh-huh, right. Heard anything on Cyan yet? What? Cyan? No. Wait a second, you're Cyan. Your voice is exactly like his. Uh, what? No. Well, if you're really orange, then prove it to me. Um, how on earth do you want me to do that? How about you answer a question that only the real orange would know? Okay, uh, what questions do you have in mind? What song does orange sing to me on my birthday every year? Oh yeah, that's easy. Happy birthday, of course. Hmm, I'm still not sold. Sing some for me. I want to hear if it sounds like it usually does. I mean, do I really have to? I already answered your question. Sing! Okay, okay. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Green. Happy birthday to you. Wow, that was actually really beautiful. But it's not my birthday, and you're not orange. Green lunged at me with his long arms. Even though he couldn't see, he was a powerful fighter. He was quickly getting the upper hand. Ah, how are you so strong? I couldn't let it end here. I used Orange's speed to try to escape. I can still hear you. On days 162 to 165, Green continued to follow me. This guy has been stalking me for so long. Doesn't he get tired? You can run, but you can't hide forever. Although I was running too quickly for him to catch me, he would keep following me as long as he could hear me running. Gotta think fast. It was then that I noticed a shrub nearby that looked like it was roughly my size. I ran around the shrub, letting Green chase me. Eventually, I got on top and he went to the other side, so I hid behind the shrub. I started to make noise to make him think the shrubbery was me. I found you! While Green was distracted, I quickly and quietly snuck away. Now hidden, I watched as Green talked to the shrub. <laughs> Caught ya, Cyan! Come on, I'm taking you back to Red. Green picked up the shrub and began walking away. Oh, you're extra prickly today, Cyan. You haven't shaved in a bit or something? Okay, that should distract him for a bit. Just then, I caught a glimpse of Cyan before she ran away again. Hmm, maybe I should ask the others about them. For days 166 to 170, I went back home and turned back into Cyan to talk to the other rainbow friends about the real Cyan. I, I don't know much. I only saw her a few times before she left. Wait, her? I'm a girl rainbow friend? Yeah, she left a long time ago and no one knows why. Wait, so I must be some sort of replacement. Not cool. I never ever seen Red do some sort of replacement before, but I guess it could be possible. Does that mean he's making copies of each of you too? And do all of these copies have the ability to transform into all the rainbow friends? I don't think so. There was only one recent human Red could have used for that, and they vanished already. Do you think there could be a chance that that human might have been me at some point? Not sure. We'd have to do some more digging. Thankfully, the technician is so good at disappearing, or I'd have to deal with another mystery rainbow friend. I still didn't know much about Cyan, but I did know that I needed to stop Red and escape Oddworld before he makes any more replacements. Wait, I just remembered. Has anyone seen Green in a while? Green! Oh no! He must have been locked up after I tricked him. I then rushed off to look for Green. 
On days 171 to 174, I made it to Red's lab. I saw Red locking up green behind bars. This will teach you for letting that pesky cyan escape so many times. Wait, but I did catch him. He's right there. That isn't cyan. That's a shrub, you bush for brains. Ah. As Red stormed off, I snuck over and began freeing Green. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you out of here. Cyan, wait, you can't trick me again. I know you're just a plant. Green, plants don't talk. It's really me. Oh, right. Well, in that case, I'll grant you my powers as thanks. With Green free, he projected his powers onto me and I transformed into him, granting me his super strength and x-ray vision. This is great. Now all I'm missing is yellow. Come on, Green. Let's go back to my place. Is your place leafy and in the soil? I'm not a plant. Green and I arrived back at my base, and I got to working, building him his own room filled with a bunch of different green stuff, like oxidized copper, terracottas, and a bunch of other green blocks. Now that you've got your own place, Green, do you think you can tell me some more about Yellow and where I could find him? He's a pretty normal guy, usually just hanging out in his nest. Huh. That's not what I would describe as normal, but I guess it's not too weird. I mean, sometimes he likes to capture helpless prey from above and fly them back there as they scream for mercy, but nothing too crazy. Now that, that is not normal. Hmm, now how could I get to his nest? Oh, maybe you could leave behind some bait, then use your x-ray vision to spy so that when he goes in to grab it, you can catch him off guard. Wow, Green, that's actually a really good idea. Thank you. Wait. Actually, what do you mean actually? Maybe I can convince one of the lookies to do it. And so I headed off to the picnic area to talk to the lookies. All right, you guys, who's ready for a challenge? Awesome. It's really easy. All you have to do is pose as bait for yellow. Suddenly, all the lookies were quiet, except for one. So, you're the brave one, huh? I like you. Come on, let's get some rest before we do anything too crazy. And so, the brave Lucky and I hunkered down for a good night's sleep. The technician returned during days 175 to 178. Hey, where have you been? After I got down from that ride, I started gathering materials for a weapon to help you stop Red. What is it? It's a full set of diamond armor. This is great now. I feel fully protected, but I still have to save all the rainbow friends. That means yellow, too. Yellow, huh? Don't worry, I have a plan. Well, seems like you have that under control. I wish you luck. Be back soon. With that, I headed out with the Lucky, looking for yellow in his nest. We walked around while I used my x-ray ability. Finally, I saw yellow in the distance, in his nest. Though he wasn't there long before he flew away. Come on, little buddy, let's go! We traveled together to where we saw yellow, and sure enough, his nest was right there in the middle of some tall trees. Okay, go in there and act helpless. Can you do that for me? The Lucky nodded and hopped in and began to screech. Now we just wait. On days 179 to 182, Yellow finally arrived and fell for the bait. Come on, little guy, just be brave. As he got closer and closer to the Lucky, I was able to jump him. I caught ya. How did you find my nest? Never mind that. I'm gonna kill you. That's not good. Yellow started to chase me. Oh, Yellow, you have to listen to me. It was no use. No matter what I said, he wouldn't listen. He just kept chasing me. I then made it back to the main area of Oddworld. This isn't so bad. It's not like he can get to us from here. Ah, I stand corrected. With nowhere left to run, I had no choice but to duck into cover and hide. Yellow swooped past me overhead. As he flew by, I quickly used my x-ray vision to see where he was going. All right, time for plan B. And so I snuck over to a tall place and waited for Yellow to fly closer. Once Yellow was in range, I used a smoke bomb to distort him, causing him to crash into the ground below. I think he's out cold. Better go make sure though. I slowly approached where Yellow landed. Hey buddy, you're not awake, right? Suddenly, Yellow woke himself up and attacked me. <laughs> Nope, that's awake. That is very awake. I began fighting off yellow. On days 183 to 186, they unleashed all they had onto me. But at this point in time, I was too powerful. I had obtained almost all the Rainbow Friends powers. Stop fighting and join me, yellow. <sighs> won't give up, not after all I've been through. Yellow kept unleashing his roar onto me. I used my smoke bomb to disable him once more. <laughs> Come on, just listen to me. Fine, say what you want. Can't you see? Red has been mind controlling you to do all his dirty work. Hmm. 
I do always seem to be saving him or getting him out of trouble. I guess you're right. I'll help you out. Here! The next thing I knew, I was yellow and I was able to fly. This is awesome! I can see everything from up here. Go meet up with the others. I'm sure you'll be able to find them. Okay. See ya! I then used my flying ability to scout the area. As I was doing so, everything was fine until Red shot me down! Whoa! I finally caught you, my dear Cyan. What? How did you know I was Cyan? I didn't, but now I know for sure. Red quickly subdued me with the potion, and I passed out. Ninety-nine. On days 187 to 190, I was having visions of how I got here. I remember who I used to be. I could see how it all happened. I snuck into Oddworld after hours. I was having fun in the laser tag area and riding all the rides, when suddenly I was sedated by Red. He conducted experiments on me, turning me into Cyan. When I woke up, I was in Red's lab. Morning, sleep. Sleepyhead, did you have sweet dreams? I remember now. You tried to replace Cyan with me. You're crazy, Red. Hmm. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. You'll never get away with this. Oh, but I will. And soon, once I'm done with you, you won't even be able to remember who you were anyways. As Red closed in on me, the real Cyan burst into the room. She bit Red and helped break me out. You saved me. Thank you, Cyan. I always knew you were the best, yet often forgotten shade of blue. While Red was tending to his bite wound, the two of us escaped. Get back here. Nah, you won't get away for long. On days 191 to 193, I brought Cyan back to my base. Thanks again for rescuing me. So why did Red decide to replace you? Well, one night a kid snuck into Oddworld. Red ordered me to attack them, but I refused. That made him very, very angry. Wow, sounds like Red is even crazier than I thought. He didn't used to be this way, but now he's gone mad with power. That makes sense. Red is the color most associated with anger after all. This is no time for color humor. <laughs> of course. Don't worry, I'll do my best to stop him. And so I got to work building Cyan a spot of her own within my base. I made it below Purple's base and decorated it with all sorts of glowing Cyan blocks as well as some warped Cyan blocks. In the end, it was perfect for my new rainbow friend, Friend. Thank you for all you've done for me and the others. Come on, here. Allow me to grant you my power. Well, technically, I'm already Cyan, so I think I already have your power. It'll work. Just try it. All right, all right. I allowed Cyan to funnel her power into me, and it actually worked. Our bite abilities combined and became even stronger, giving it knockback. Yeah, it actually worked. I mean, <clears throat> of course it worked. Ha, if Red didn't like you biting him, he's really gonna hate what I do now. On days 194 to 196, the technician came to my base to see me and the other friends. Hey, everybody, how's it hanging? But the others were wary of him. Oh, I see. You're all intimidated by my rugged good looks. Well, there's no need. Even though I'm incredibly handsome, I'm just like you guys. Well, not really because I'm human and you're not, but you get it. You guys don't need to worry about him. He's the one who's been helping me from the start. <gasps> But how would he know so much about us and the Odd World? Well, because I'm the technician. Odd World still has a technician? Why, yes, but actually, no. See, I stopped getting paid, so I came here to see why the company suddenly went quiet, but I got trapped inside. I've been surviving in here ever since, hiding and observing you all. Wow, that's crazy. They're really creepy. <clears throat> So, Bronzo, are you ready to stop Red soon? There's one more thing. I want to have a meeting with you all. On days 97 and 98, I gathered my rainbow friends together to talk to them. Hey guys, since we're the rainbow friends and everybody loves us, we need to make sure we get the word out to comment down below who your favorite rainbow friend is and subscribe so you never miss another Bronzo video, as well as liking this video. Suddenly, the technician started ringing a bell. What the? What are you doing that for? And where did you even get a bell from? Have you been carrying that around this whole time? Because you forgot to mention hitting the bell so they get updates every upload. Also, yes I have. Thanks for having my back, guys. Well, I'm off to end Red's reign of terror. Good luck, Bronzo. We'll be here waiting. And when you succeed, we can all leave and live our lives however we want to. With those parting words, I headed off to Red's laboratory, ready for a final showdown. I made my way to Red's lab on day 199, determined to end this madness until the speakers crackled again. It was Red. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. But I won't make it easy for you. I can trust more lookies to fight for me. Good luck surviving. 
Just then, a swarm of lookies rushed onto me, doing lots of damage with numbers. I fought back, but there were just too many of them to take on by myself. They kept coming. No, it can't end like this. Just then, the giant lookie came to the rescue and whistled. All the lookies stopped immediately. Thanks, giant lookie. Now I could continue on to Red's. On day 200, I entered a new hallway in Red's laboratory that hadn't been there before. I wonder where this leads. I followed the path and exited into a huge dome, Red's new headquarters. He was there, standing in the center. I see you survived the lookies. Even so, you won't survive me. We'll see about that. I have all the powers of the rainbow friends on my side. Hmm, that's meaningless here. Now, prepare yourself. Red began to use his telekinesis powers. He picked up the radioactive materials he had stored in his lab and threw it at me. I used all of my powers to my disposal to wear Red down. I threw purple smoke bombs, making it hard for him to aim. Blue's jump power did a great amount of damage. I used Cyan's bite every time Red would get close to me. And with Orange's super speed, it wore Red down. He couldn't keep up with me anymore. What is this power? Something you would never understand. Red was worn down enough that all I needed was one more hit. Take this, you evil scientist! You'll rue this day! I combined all my powers into one and shot a giant beam at him. At long last, Fred was defeated! Bro!